Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, all right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. This question is sent in by Nick uh, from YouTube. I feel really bad. Nick sent this in just before I was leaving for Columbus, Indiana. And I said, Nick, I'm going to give you the formula. I don't have time to explain it. I promise I'll do a podcast, though, to uh, catch up with this. Nick has a bunch of sales, and he's going to calculate the bonus. Here's his bonus table. If you sell uh, over 1,000, you get a $25 bonus. Uh, over 3,000, you get a $125 bonus. And it would be tempting here to start out with the big, huge nested if statement, right? But in Excel 2003, you can't nest more than seven, and his table's too big, so it's not going to work. I'm going to use the other version of VLOOKUP, equal VLOOKUP. Go look up that value, 468, in this table, and we want that to be locked down, of course, and then comma 2 for the second column. And normally, where we put comma false, we would put a true, but it turns out you don't have to put true. You can just close that and we'll copy it down. Now, the cool thing about this sorted version of VLOOKUP, the true version, is that uh, 828 doesn't have to be in the table. All right? What it does is it finds the value less than the value if there is no match. So here at the 2501, it goes back and grabs the 100 from 2500. All right? Looks cool. Now, here's what I felt bad about for Nick. I didn't want to explain to Nick how to set up this table over here, so I came to my formula clicked F2 and went right to where that table is, selected those characters and pressed F9, right? which inserts the table directly into the formula. What a beautiful thing. That way I had a nice compact formula that I could send to Nick. Um, but you know, how are you ever going to figure out what the heck that does? Now this is a cool trick. Look up here. It actually embeds the, the table. You can get rid of the table then and we're good to go. Although I guess I need to copy that down, don't I? And our formulas work everywhere. All right, so a, uh, a good trick. Now, when I was in Columbus, I showed this trick. It's kind of one of the new tricks in my seminar and people said, well, wait, that's fine until you need to edit the, the table. Then what are you going to do? You're going to have to try and parse through this whole thing. Well, uh, you know, the cool trick here uh, is we're going to select all of those cells like that, right? Control C to copy and then here select the right size range. Do equal, control V, control shift enter, and the table comes right back to life. Oh, I didn't select enough. Um, comes right back to life. I can then edit it and re embed it later. So, cool, cool trick. Nick, thanks for sending that question in. Sorry I uh, gave you the very uh, bizarre formula there. Hope this makes sense now. Thanks to everyone else for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Netcast from Mr. Excel. Stop by. We'll see you next time for another netcast, Mr. Excel.